hiccup yesterday at the White House after President Obama's home teleprompter reportedly malfunctioned during a family dinner. Onion News Network Washington correspondent Jane Carmichael joins us now with more. Jane, tell us what exactly happened over well, there. Well, on a last night in the middle of a conversation with Malia about raising her allowance, President Obama's home teleprompter suddenly went blank. He sort of froze mid-sentence, but mm -hmm. after a few seconds of silence, Obama was able to call up his prepared remarks from memory. So it didn't differ at all, basically, from the copy of the dinner conversation that had been sent over to reporters beforehand? Right, that's right. It was almost okay. verbatim. Wow. He hit all the points about Malia needing to get at least a B in math and trying to get uh, onto the soccer team just in a different order than they were written. Well, White House Deputy Press Secretary Brenda Inglet briefly addressed this error today. Let's take a look. Look, the president has uh, hundreds of conversations every day, and it simply isn't feasible for him to memorize the text for every single one. The prompter is really just a tool to help the president remember to speak, blink, and breathe. Mm, and look, yeah. Obama is always open about the fact that he works with a team of talented writers mm -hmm. on every remark he makes. Yeah, absolutely. The prompters just help make sure he doesn't say the wrong thing at any point ever. Exactly. He would write his conversations himself, but he's just too busy. Uh, he's the president. He does make sure, though, to look over and edit any asides or offhand remarks he didn't personally script. Though. Of course. You know, Jane, it seems like the president has gotten better at using the teleprompter since the campaign. Yes, we all sure remember has. that horrible pumpkin patch incident before the election when the oh, wind blew the prompter over in the middle of picking pumpkins That's with the right. girls. That's right, causing Obama to fumble around awkwardly, drop the pumpkin he was mm. holding, and refer to Sasha as Jennifer. And there was the caps lock incident. Oh, yes. Obama nearly shouted himself hoarse mm. over the course of that speech. And there were various mix-ups where teleprompter operators displayed the wrong lines. Mm. Once it caused him to say, I played a little basketball myself in high school after sampling a piece of Cape Cod saltwater taffy. Boy, the GOP had a oh, field day with awful. that one. Obama was furious yeah. about it. He had his staff put a long, angry rant into the teleprompter for him to scream at them. I remember that. But you know, also, uh, uh, Jane, we should point out that Obama's not the first president to use scripted interactions. No. Ronald Reagan was known for using cue cards, for instance. Yes, exactly right. Yeah. And of course, Joe Biden is known for reading his remarks off his arm where he's written them in magic marker. Exactly right. Well, Jane, thank you so much for that report. We appreciate it as thank always. Thank you, Anna. Far from caving to criticism, the president has increased his reliance on the teleprompter, sending it alone on low-priority diplomatic meetings and photo ops. Well, right after the break, we'll talk to a Philadelphian who knows all the best places to get murdered.